Hi guys, it's Ksenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am finally doing a perfume haul. I feel like I haven't done a perfume haul in so long and that is so unlike my channel because I feel like my channel started on perfume hauls and I know that these are your guys' favorite videos but I took a long break because I was kind of overdoing it with the hauls and I realized that I was overdoing it so then I started decluttering a bunch as you've seen. I did like five declutter videos back to back. And my rule now and going forward, you're still gonna be seeing hauls from me, but I just wanna make it a point that if I'm bringing new fragrances in, I'm also gonna let go older ones because I can't let my fragrance go up to like 400 perfumes anymore. Of course, I love every fragrance that I buy, but Sometimes I have to be a little bit picky. So today I'm going to be showing you guys some recent perfume purchases. One of these is going to be so surprising. If you've been with me for a while, this fragrance will blow your mind. The fact that it's in my collection right now and the things that I'm going to say about it, you guys are going to be like, what? But anyways, with all that said, before we get into this video, this portion of the video is sponsored by Drift. Smelling good is a big priority in my life, as you can tell. But smelling good doesn't just have to stop with obviously like you smelling good. It's also equally important for your surroundings to smell good and I love for my home to smell good and I love for my car to smell good and that is exactly what this brand is. So Drift is a monthly subscription service that provides clean scents for your home and for your car. They have car fresheners, they have candles and a few other products on their website. But when I say car fresheners, I feel like that sounds so boring and you probably think of the little like tree that hangs on your rear view mirror. These are not that. These are really innovative. So before I tell you how it works let me show you the product you're going to get a little packet like this and this is going to be your car freshener and it's literally a piece of wood this little packet is a bunch of really amazing fragrance oils and when I say that I mean these are like some of the best of the best fragrances for you they're completely natural they never contain parabens phthalates formaldehydes dea mineral oils petroleum propylene or dichlorobenzene they pretty much are free of most of the toxic scents that you'll find in your leading car fresheners. They are fresh and real scents delivered to your doorstep on your automated schedule. They are made of natural, essential, and fragrance oils. They basically marinate in those oils in these little packets and then when you take them out, it smells so, so good. They have many scents on their site. I think some of my favorites will probably be the amber, the teak, and the coffee scents. I feel like those are really fun. But they also have their scent of the month that you can also choose, and that is what I got this month. And their scent of the month this month is the Royale scent. And their description of this is, take a stroll through a stunning European orchard. This scent asks you to embrace your regal side, deluxe full-bodied fruitiness wrapped in rich notes of sandalwood, clove, jasmine, and amber. This smells so good. It actually reminds me of like Albania because there's a lot of nature in Albania and just beautiful trees and flowers and I feel like this reminds me of that. This actually comes in the wood. They also have a stone version of this. It's more so for like aesthetic purposes, whatever you like. I kind of like the wood though. And behind this, there is a magnet. You're probably wondering where the heck does this go in your car? Well, along with this, you also receive this, which is like a visor thing that you just clip on your like mirror and this magnetizes to it like that and it stays put the magnet is super super strong it's designed so that it will last you those whole 30 days before you get your next shipment their prices are also fairly good if you check out their website they're pretty inexpensive but on top of all of that i did also get a code for you guys so you can use my code xenia55 for 55 percent off of your first kit so definitely make sure you take advantage of that because you are getting a really really good deal on top of an already really really good deal so again thank you to drift for sponsoring this portion of the video and with all that said before we get into this video please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on and let's get started so i'm gonna start off with the perfume that i told you guys in the beginning of this video you're gonna be shocked by i've already kind of hinted at this if you've been seeing my last few videos after a while of hating on this perfume and giving it a really really harsh review i bought kaylee's vanilla 28 i know I know this is this is a big deal for me. I have given this such a harsh review starting from the first time I ever talked about it where I was like, I hate this scent. It doesn't smell good. It smells like a church. I don't even remember the things that I said about it, but they were just not good. Then after that point, I continue to talk about it. I included it in a bunch of videos of like perfumes I hate. So basically, I kept reiterating the fact that I absolutely despise <laughs> this perfume. The way that this whole 360 kind of happened and me having this back in my collection, 
I was going into Sephora. This has been like a month in the making. I would go into Sephora and I would go into the fragrance section and when I was buying whatever other perfumes, I would go to the scent and spray it just because I was like, you know what, let me give it another chance because I always see everyone loving on this and I'm like, why am I not getting what everyone else is getting? I kept going in, I would smell it, I would put it on me and I feel like the more I started doing that, I started to actually really enjoy the scent and then the most recent time that I went to Sephora and I tried it on, I was like, okay, I actually really really like this scent now maybe my nose has changed i'm not sure what has happened along the way but i purchased this and i have been loving it like not even just liking it i've been loving it now i did read somebody that said that i don't know if they've changed the formula of this but i feel like the last time i bought this it wasn't this dark like the juice inside and i saw that somebody said that the more you let this fragrance sit and the juice darkens the better it becomes like the vanilla in it just gets so much richer and i feel like when i first bought this the juice inside was not this dark and now it's darker and I love it more. It reminds me so much of the Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 40 scent. And I have the Balm Gia Bright uh, cream to go with that as well. And I know that I did that whole video about what perfumes I brought with me to vacation. But I actually brought this with me because I bought this right before I went on my vacation. Like literally a day before. So I quickly threw it in my bag because I was like, you know what? I feel like this is the best way to really test it out. And... I just wore it and I actually layered this a lot with the fragrance that I'm going to show you guys next. And that combo was so delicious. My husband could not keep his hands off of me. Now it's said that men obviously love uh, vanilla scents and my husband is no different because he was loving on this. All in all, I'm really enjoying this. What I didn't like about this the first time I tried it was that I felt like it smelled too mature. There was just too much florals that I was smelling and not as much vanilla as I wanted. Even though this is Vanilla 28, obviously you would expect a lot of vanilla out of this scent, but now I get that. Now I get a strong vanilla, and I, I am freaking obsessed. Like, it's so creamy. Yes, there's a bit of floralness. Like, it's definitely not going to be your juvenile, typical, boring vanilla scent. There is complexity to it but the dry down of this is so beautiful on my skin i cannot believe i'm saying that i honestly feel bad for all the times that i bash this but you know what like our tastes obviously change we go through periods where we love an item and then you'll see it declutter the same way you go into your closet and throw away old clothes that when you bought them you loved but now you're like i never really wear this like i don't like it the same thing happens with fragrances and our nose changes we evolve i feel like i just like i start picking up on things that i didn't used to in fragrances and the opposite of this has also happened to me where I used to love a fragrance and then I started hating it for whatever reason like I picked up something that I didn't pick up at first and so that is my public apology on Kaylee Vanilla 28. I can't believe how harsh I was on you but now this smells so sexy so rich of vanilla like it is a vanilla dream. This is Vanilla Orchid, Tonka Absolute, Brown Sugar, Amber Woods, and Musk. There's actually not like an actual, actual vanilla note in it in here, but you can definitely smell a strong vanilla scent in it. So moving on from that, the next one that is honestly kind of on the same vibe, and to be honest, a big reason why I bought Vanilla 28 was because of this fragrance, because I bought this right before that scent, and I told you guys I was going to bring this on my cruise with me, because I did a whole dedicated review to this scent. This is Black Opal. Opium Le Parfum. This is a new flanker to the Black Opium line. I have Black Opium in my collection somewhere up there and to be honest, I wear it but I don't wear it too often because I just have other fragrances that I wear more than that. But when I smelled this, I like I've never been into any other Black Opium flanker. I honestly don't even know how many they are. I know that there's like a million at this point. Like people make fun of how many flankers they put out of Black Opium because it's just like so many at this point. And I hear a lot that a lot of them are really similar to the original. But when I saw this, this was the first one where I actually was interested in buying it. After I looked up the notes, I was like, oh my god, this is going to be right up my alley. And the main selling factor of this to me was the fact that it has four different vanilla notes in it. Now clearly, in this video, you can tell I love vanilla. Like, vanilla is one of my favorite scents, and I know it's very basic to like vanilla. I feel like most of the population likes vanilla, but that's because... 
something about vanilla, everyone loves vanilla. I remember reading this whole statistic about if you wear vanilla, people like automatically find you more attractive or something like that. There's just something about vanilla. I feel like it's almost like an aphrodisiac or like a, a pheromone that people smell. And I totally get that because I feel that way anytime I smell a vanilla scent. And guys, this is, honestly, if you have the original black opium, you could totally buy this because it's entirely different in my opinion. The vanilla in this screams at you, but also not in like a too much kind of way. Now, obviously, if you don't like vanilla, you're probably not going to like this because it's vanilla more than anything. But it is so good. Basically, the vanilla dominates over all the other notes. But once it settles down, you also start to kind of get that coffee, which is kind of the main characteristic of the original Black Opium is that coffee scent. But the coffee in here is way, way, way more toned down and a lot more creamy. It almost gives me like a cappuccino vibe. Whereas in the original Black Opium, I smell that coffee a lot more almost. I mean, Black Opium, the original, is really, really sweet, but I get kind of like a hint of like a bitter sort of coffee scent in here. This one is not bitter. This is giving me sweet, creamy coffee, cappuccino type of vibes because I think it has so many uh, of those vanilla notes in it. So they kind of just tone down that coffee, but the mixture of everything else is also really, really beautiful. There is a slight jasmine scent in here, which I love. It's super, super feminine. I just love this. This is one of the sexiest perfumes ever like i said when i was on my cruise i mixed this and this together a bunch and i also layered them on top with cherosa 40 because i feel like this one it's not as similar as vanilla 28 to cherosa 40 but there is a hint of that in here as well so i think if you like any of those fragrances you would absolutely love this but i feel like even if you don't try this out like i am so avid on just recommending this scent because this is one of the best best black opiums I have ever smelled and a lot of you guys seem to agree when I did my whole dedicated review to this fragrance a lot of you guys were like oh my god I picked that scent up and I freaking love it a lot of you told me that you didn't even like the original black opium and this ended up being one of your like favorite fragrances ever so highly recommend black opium le parfum it is Unreal. Speaking of Kaali, this is another new fragrance to my collection. Now, I did a whole dedicated review to this one as well, but I needed to kind of give you guys an update on this fragrance because my, again, I don't know what it is with these Kaali scents, but I like don't like them at first and then I ended up like loving them. I was this close to returning it i had it ready i was like it was in my sephora bag and then i kind of forgot about it for a minute like out of sight out of mind this is kaali yum pistachio gelato the brand new most recent kaali release this fragrance i feel like literally broke the internet when it came out because there was a lot of controversy surrounding this. I mean, there's people that liked it, of course, but a lot of people didn't because it was said to be pistachio gelato. People expected something super gourmand and it wasn't really that. Again, I talk about this way, way, way more in depth in my dedicated review to this, so I will link that up in the cards. I kind of agreed in that video and said that this wasn't really gourmand to the level that we were expecting out of fragrance called pistachio gelato, but... This fragrance did come out in the spring and summertime. And in this time of year, you don't really want a heavy gourmand, a thick gourmand, dense, all that. You don't want that kind of fragrance because you are going to not only knock yourself out, but everybody around you. Nobody wants to smell super thick fragrances when it's like 100 degrees outside. And this one, I feel like is the perfect gourmand scent for like a gourmand sweet lover that likes these type of sweet scents but that is not going to suffocate you in the heat because there's like a light airiness to this, a fluffiness to this, just something that makes it really wearable. And I don't know if I talked about longevity in my video where I mentioned this, but I will kind of do an update in case I did talk about longevity on this scent. This scent lasts me all day now. I do overspray with it. I've already made a nice little dent in it. Like I'm at like right here because when I do wear it, it starts off seeming like it would be kind of soft, so I kind of just spray this. But if I do that, it literally lasts me all day, especially on clothes. On clothes, I will literally go back to my clothes the next day and I can still smell this fragrance on. And I know that because I wore this to bed a couple times and during the night it would smell amazing and in the morning it would still smell just as fragrant. This is actually really, really good. I don't know what in this changed for me, but I started to really crave it after not smelling it for a while. And then I was like, let me give it another shot. And afterwards, I was like, okay, this is staying in my collection. I actually really, really enjoy this. The fragrance notes in this are absolutely 
delicious like I'm not even gonna read all of them but I'll, I'll put them on the screen for you guys just some keynotes that really stand out to me are ice cream hazelnut raspberry peony whipped cream marshmallow cotton candy locum tonka bean sandalwood cedar cacao just the most delicious notes and honestly would make you think that this would be super super heavy on the gourmand side but there's like a light airy fluffiness to this that is so so pretty and you can definitely smell the pistachio in it so yeah i am loving on yum pistachio gelato at the moment and the final scent that i have to haul is a brand new jo malone fragrance i also did an entire dedicated review to this one as well i'll link all of these videos that i'm mentioning in this video i'll link them all in my description box in case you want more detailed um reviews on any of these but this is scarlet poppy i didn't actually buy this <laughs> my parents bought this for me i got this for my birthday and i was so excited that i did a whole dedicated review to this just saying how much i loved it because i remember the first time i smelled this i was like i am going to buy that fragrance and it will literally be my favorite fragrance of all time and it still is don't get me wrong this just, I don't even know how to explain it. It's so feminine to me. I believe this is actually unisex, but in my opinion, it's a lot more feminine smelling. Obviously, you can smell the poppy in here, and I'm very familiar with poppies because I basically grew up with those flowers all around me in Albania. I told you guys that whole story time about making the little dolls out of those flowers. Again, you can watch that video if you want to hear all of that, but I'm very familiar with that scent, so I definitely picked that up in here, but... This also has fig, so it has this fruitiness. It's slightly musky. It has this creaminess from the tonka bean that's in here. It's very sweet, especially for a Jo Malone fragrances where their fragrances tend to be a lot more on the fresher side. There's still an element of freshness in here, so you're not really losing that. But this one just has a little bit more depth in it and something that's a little bit stronger than their typical scents, especially the ones that come in like the clear bottles. I think these ones that are darker, they're supposed to be like intensified versions. So they are a little bit stronger and they do last a little bit better, like a lot better, honestly, than the ones that are in the clear bottles. They also are more expensive, so that's kind of a downside. This smells a lot, a lot, a lot like Velvet Petals to me, which was like the most appealing part of this for me because for such a long time I've been saying how much I've been wanting a perfume version of Velvet Petals because that is one of my favorite scents, and now I have it. It's this. It's a little bit more potent, more perfumey, and just a little bit more complex than just like the body spray velvet petals but when i do wear this i love layering it up with velvet petals and it is like the most amazing scent ever I get compliments on it all day so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this little haul it had been a minute since i had done one so i'm really excited to share with you guys some new scents i have more hauls don't you worry i have been really fragrance shopping so i have way more hauls coming your way so definitely stay tuned for those thank you again to drift for sponsoring today's video and again don't forget to use my code Xenia 55 for 55% off of your first order. That is it for me today. Let me know of any new fragrances that you guys have picked up that I need to check out in the comments down below. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!